So, if you're anything like me and you've got a late model Ram truck with the LED map lights in it, um, you may have experienced the same problem I have. Um, this is the third overhead console that I've had put in this truck for the map lights flickering or dim or burned out. Um, as you know, if you go to the dealer, they're going to tell you that you've got to buy the entire thing. You cannot just, uh, get map lights. They, you know, they tell you that the bulbs are not replaceable, et cetera, et cetera. Well, come to find out they are. Um, Dodge just over-engineered the holy ever-loving hell out of this. And, uh, well, they're a bunch of idiots. So I'm going to show you here how I did this real quick. Um... It's, it's not too difficult, in all honesty. Um, once you get the main overhead console off, there's a great video on YouTube already how to do that. I'm not going to cover all that. Then all you've got to do at that point is get this portion off, which is extremely easy. Up on the front by the garage door opener buttons, there's two little clips that hold it into the main bezel here and here. Once you get those pulled out, this entire assembly pops right off. Lens covers everything, so <clears throat> pretty uh, pretty simple. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more difficult. Um, the reason these are quote-unquote not replaceable bulbs is because of these three points right here. So what that is, this whole assembly is pushed on here, and then these little plastic points right here in these three spots are burned on so that they are larger than the hole. So what you've got to do is you've got to take some sort of mini torch. I used a butane torch um, with an extremely, extremely small flame. Um, it worked great. I just put it right, right on the spot. Didn't let it get too hot. Don't melt anything. Um, and then I had a pick. I put a pick right up underneath here and I was able to pop it off with leverage. Um, so I've already got these done. I'm going to pull this one off real quick, show you guys how this thing's made. So when you pull it off, this is what you're looking at. And you can see it's got the two little contacts in there. It goes to some sort of board. And that board's just clipped on to this chrome fascia piece, right? But if you look down here, you're going to notice, well, that looks just like a 194 bulb socket. Well, guess what, guys? It is. That's an LED 194. I just went and got it at Walmart real quick because it's like midnight and they were the only ones open. Um, I just tested this in the truck, and lo and behold, it does work. The new lens, or the old the old chrome fascia, without the board on the back like this one, fits right there in place, goes exactly where it needs to be. All I got to do is get it down get it down past these little spots, take a solder and iron, reburn them, and I'm good to go. And that's it. It's done. Now, the one thing I want to note on LED bulbs, they are you do have to have them positive and negative correct. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is put this in, go out to the truck and plug just that connector in. The connector is this one right here, right at the very end. And uh, make sure those light up before you, put your, before you put your chrome pieces back on or you maybe take them right back off just to, just to turn that bulb around. So just double check it. Just wanted to share with you guys. I mean, I've uh, I've pulled a lot of information off of the community, um, the YouTube community, and uh, I know I really hadn't found any good videos on this, anything that really showed in detail how it was made from the factory um, versus what you could do with it, and uh, just figured I'd give back. If this was informational, feel free to just leave me a like. Um, that way I can judge whether or not you guys want anything extra, any more of these videos. Um, there's just a shot real quick showing how those bulbs just slide right in. It's like, it's like they made them 194 sockets when they did their original design, or maybe this is the same board that they use for the lower model trucks. I don't know, but, uh, they really, really went a little bit overboard with this LED board here. I mean, it didn't really need to be all that. So anyway, just, uh, information. Thanks guys.